Okay, this is meant just to be as a couple of examples of how to solve trig equations um, when the ratio winds up being one that falls on the unit circle. Um, this company is 2.1b document A and also document B at the beginning, um, which is basically a repeat of that. Um, so basically, whenever we're trying to solve a trig equation, uh, we always have the same kind of goals. Uh, we first thing we want to do is we want to treat the trig part of it as if it was the variable in our former algebraic equations. Um, so I'm just going to pick a couple of examples and kind of show you what I mean. Um, so if my initial example is something like this, um, so I'm going to say 3 cosine theta minus square root of 3 equals cosine theta. And they want us to solve in the interval 0, comma, 2 pi. Uh, just a little reminder, this, uh, this interval notation translate into 0 less than or equal to theta less than 2 pi. So I'm going to include the 0 because the equal sign there, that's the square bracket is giving me, whereas the parentheses means don't include it. So in order to solve this, my first goal is to get my trig equation, trig functions on one side and my numbers on the other. Uh, algebra of trigs is basically treat cosine theta as x. So I can add and subtract in the same way. Uh, so in this case, I will subtract cosine theta from both sides to get the cosines on the left. And then I'm going to add the square root of 3 to both sides to get the numbers on the right. And as a result, I end up getting 2 cosine theta. Uh, equals square root of 3. I now need to get the cosine theta alone, so I need to undo multiplication with division. So I end up with the equation cosine theta equals the square root of 3 over 2. Now if this had been uh, x instead of cosine theta, at this point we would be done. But the goal of this whole solving bit is to see what angles have cosine values of, in this case, square root of 3 over 2. Um, so if we were thinking about a graph, and our, we're looking at our cosine curve, which looks like this, we're looking for all the times where the cosine value was up here at square root of 3 over 2. Um, so we're looking for these two locations. Another reason I know that we're looking for two locations is because on our unit circle, we know that everything is positive in quadrant 1, just sine in 2, just tangent in quadrant 3, and just cosine in quadrant 4. So as a result, cosine is positive in two quadrants in quadrant 1 and 4. So there's two answers to this question. Uh, so I know that theta equals, and I am looking for uh, the places where cosine or x uh, equals root 3 over 2, so that's right here, so, and, and right here, up and down from each other. So my two answers are theta equals pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6. This is a cosine equation and not an inverse cosine equation, so there are no restrictions uh, on my work here. So that's my first example. Let's see if I can... Um, example number 2. Make this guy small. I'll try another one. I'll do a quadratic one. Um, so in my quadratic one, what we're going to do is we are going to use square roots in order to be able uh, to solve. Sorry, I was going to try to get rid of the ASTC. It was annoying me, but I can't do that right now, so I'm just going to keep going. Um, so I am going to use square roots to solve when it's quadratic and there is no linear component. What does that mean? Uh, it means a case where I have uh, a squared term, a number, but no just regular sine term. Uh, so I'm looking at this example. So again, the goal is to try to get sine alone. Uh, so my first step here would be to divide away the 2. So I'll have sine squared theta equals 1 half. And then to undo square roots, or sorry, to undo squares, we square root. And square rooting a fraction is the same as taking the square root of the top and the square root of the denominator. Uh, so I end up having that sine theta equals plus or minus, because when I square it, it doesn't matter if it was negative or positive to start. Square root of 1 is 1 over the square root of 2. We all know it's bad form to leave a radical in our denominator, so I'm going to go ahead and rationalize that. I'm multiplying by the square root of 2 on the top and bottom. So now I have that sine theta equals plus or minus 
square root of 2 over 2. Um, so I'm looking for any time that the sine value or the y is positive root 2 over 2 or negative root 2. So here is where it's positive root 2 over 2, these two guys, and here's where it's negative root 2 over 2. So I have four answers to this one, one from each of the quadrants, and they're all the over 4 references. So my answers here are pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, and 7 pi over 4. Uh, and those are the basic examples for how to solve a trig equation when the ratio ends up falling uh, on the unit circle.